MSI's newest QD OLED is ready to be showcased. Introducing the MPG 271 QRX 1440p at 360Hz with a massive heatsink. Today we're going to be going through the unboxing, the monitor menu, of course going through that ABL test with Street Fighter Alpha 3. And we're doing things different today. We're going to be showcasing this monitor mainly in the daytime to show you how really QD OLED looks like in a real world scenario. So we have sun rays on the monitor itself. I'll be showcasing SDR and a little bit of HDR. And last but not least, we're going to take a look at that bonus, $100 Steam voucher. It's only valid for a limited time. So if you get this monitor, I hope you don't forget. So getting right into it, as you can see here, I am feeling this box. It really screams gamerish, and maybe because I'm used to the Samsung and LG, I would say generic cardboard boxes. Eco-friendly, don't get me wrong, but just seeing this box, to me, screams QD OLED color, QD OLED power, especially with that heatsink. Now this monitor has awesome packaging, one of the best I've seen this year. Everything's covered securely, and even if the box would have come beat up, there is enough styrofoam covering everything, and I'm sure you're not going to have any issues when this awesome display arrives. It's a standard screw-on stand, no tools required. Here you can see the monitor nub, or the thumbstick. On the right side is the power button. Now taking a look at this massive heatsink. It is huge! <laughs> Seriously, it's huge! There is no way this monitor is going to overheat. Now with the monitor menu, it's a really well-designed menu. It's colorful, and it does have a lot more AI options than I expected. Here you can see the KVM switch, smart crosshair, and the optic scope. Under gaming, where you can set your premium color or user, among other modes. Now I actually prefer user, as it has a more neutral, toned down color look, while premium just shoots too much color, at least for my liking. Also to note, if you switch this monitor to movie mode, for whatever reason, when I did that, night vision AI was enabled. So when you're switching modes, just double check all the settings that nothing has just become enabled. Right now there's a critical firmware that needs to be updated on the MPG series, and I will do that in due time. I just wanted to bring you this raw detail of how this monitor arrived. It's just that the monitor menu is a little bit wonky, at least in its current state. So just be aware, when you get this monitor, update it immediately. Here you control the pixel shift, static screen detection, multi-logo detection, you get what I'm saying. All that OLED MSI care technology is found here. Now we're going to go through that in another video. I just want to give you an overview, the unboxing and my first impressions of what I'm seeing. Is this monitor worth it? But so far, the menu looks pretty cool. Now remember what I said earlier, we're going to do things different this time. We're going to be gaming on this monitor at 3 p.m. I open my window with light shining directly on the monitor itself. I want to give you guys an idea of a worst case scenario with this QD OLED technology. Since it doesn't have a polarizer, everyone is stating that purple haze, that purple look. Now I would never play this way, but you can though if you need to. I mean we all love glossy, but not necessarily do we live in caves. Sometimes we just want to open our windows. And that's why a matte coating does come in handy, and a lot of people do need that. So it's all about preference. What do you need? This is a glossy coating, but since it doesn't have a polarizer, it does have an elevated black look. And of course that purple haze. But right away going into that ABL test. QD OLED technology at 27 inches and 32 does not appear to have any kind of ABL in that Street Fighter Alpha 3 test. For those of you that don't know, the LG 27GR95QE and that ASUS PG27AQDM both show that OLED dimming on those peak highlights. The GR shows it a lot, while the ASUS does keep it at a minimum, and the newly released 27GS95QE does not show anything. And also I'm going to be showing very soon a new OLED monitor that really has surprised me. The Curry 27E8QK, try saying that fast. That monitor also does not show any kind of ABL. That's gonna have a lot of value, but we'll get to that unboxing very soon. But on this MSI 27-1QRX, the monitor has enough brightness to play at all times. So if you're gaming or watching a movie from the front or from any angle, you're not gonna have any issues. And it keeps reflections at a minimum, as well as all it can in this glossy coating. One thing that really stands out to me is the clarity. And I guess because of the glossy coating, you can see everything. Look at this lizard. Is it a lizard? I think it is. I can see the scales. I can see everything. This QD OLED, or I would even say W OLED, just elevates the picture over VA or standard IPS with no zones. And you really need to see them side by side. But don't worry, we'll get to that very soon. I would say we're about 4 o'clock now. And here I have a couple of games, here with the division. Now this is an SDR mode, 250 nits of brightness, really does look good in the daytime. You can still see the sun rays on the monitor, and everything is crystal clear. Now again, I personally wouldn't play this way. I would want to enjoy this game, play it in the dark, or with minimal RGB ambience. But you can see what I'm showcasing, it looks really good. And I would say this is a worst case scenario. 
I mean, a real worst case scenario would be if you play this in the living room with huge windows wide open. But hey, I'm just showing you here what I got. Let's just say you're gonna watch some anime. The color of this monitor really stands out. It's really punchy. And like I said, the premium color option really gives you a kick in the face of color. But for me, for my liking, that was just too much. I just kept it on user. But the good thing is you have a lot of options. But animes look good. Cartoons look amazing. Regular show, The Simpsons. Here with Mortal Kombat 11. I would say this is the limitation of this monitor, the SDR mode. With user, again, like I said, it's hovering around 250 nits. And in the daytime, you can see, while still visible, it's not impactful. And I can just tell you, since I own a lot of monitors, what I'm seeing. And I hope you can understand. But again, I will show you this in a versus video. W OLED monitors of this year. The Curry, the new 27GS 95QE from LG. They look to have more impact. Now, yes, QD OLED is better technically with the color. But the brightness in a situation like this, plus with a matte screen. Just being honest, guys. The W OLEDs look better in this situation. And they look very comparable in the dark. I don't want to get into that glossy versus matte discussion, but if you really need a microscope to show the differences between a matte and glossy coating, I don't know. It's not as clear cut. It's not easily seen. Technically, yes, glossy is better, but 99% of the people don't have microscopic eyes that are going to put their faces on the screen and see the difference. From far, they look equal. And honestly, W OLED looks really good because that added brightness does give you that impact. And so far, I haven't seen any kind of color wash. But look at these images. They look crystal clear. The color is popping, even with the sunlight. That's what I wanted to show you. It looks really good. All the characters in the campfire, it does look 3D-ish. And this is about 250 nits capped. And it looks amazing because the contrast is infinite. Now, before we get into that information on the $100 Steam gift card, here's some HDR footage I was able to capture. Yes, I'm trying to figure out how to record in HDR to showcase these monitors in all their glory. I mean, nowadays, HDR is the way to go on any OLED monitor. It looks good and deep. And here with Cyberpunk, those neon signs are popping. But we'll get to more HDR gaming in a future video. All right, guys, don't forget to check the available offers. On the 27, 32, and 49 QD OLEDs, the latest from MSI, you're able to get a $100 gift card just by doing a couple of things. This does have a three-year burn-in warranty, so it gives you a peace of mind running these at 100% brightness or if you're going to run these all day in HDR mode. Now, one thing I personally have heard from MSI is that you need to make sure the AI care is on at all times for this to count. And that's also with ASUS. Pixel shift, all those things need to be enabled. And that's what they've told me. As ASUS and MSI product managers actually have said that in interviews and on YouTube. And they've actually answered my questions and they've said yes. Now, I don't know how they can tell if it is or not. You know what I'm saying? To be covered, you do have to have enabled the MSI OLED care, the pixel shift, etc. Now, get a bigger bonus for shouting out for MSI. So far, MSI is the only vendor or the only manufacturer that has a $100 Steam voucher if you provide feedback from January 6th through March 31st. Now, there's a couple of things you got to do. Step one is to write a review on one of these three monitors. Step two, register your product with the MSI Member Center. And step three, submit the review link and invoice. And once it's approved, you'll get the prize from MSI. So I'm just gonna leave this up here and I will have this link in the description so you don't have to break your head and look for it. It'll be right here so you can start this process and get that $100 Steam voucher as fast as possible. I mean, that's a lot of money. That's Helldivers 2 for free. Heck yeah, you know what I'm saying? Remember friends, I break my head for you so you don't have to, so please hit that like button so more people can see it to know what's out there and to see if this monitor's worth it. I really wouldn't want anyone to lose out on this voucher if they just bought this monitor. So time is of the essence. Please spread the word of this video of this voucher so people don't miss out. So friends, there you have it. Here was my unboxing, first impressions I would say, and a monitor overview of this awesome 27-inch QD OLED gaming monitor. 1440p 360Hz never looks so good. It's 2024. And the golden era of monitors is just getting better and better. Don't forget I will have some versus videos up very soon. The 27GS 95QE versus this awesome monitor. That's going to be a fun one. Anyway, thanks for watching, friends. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.